I could, I would take all three of these universities, but unfortunately I could not. I'm here today to commit to the university that I'll be running for next fall. And without further ado, I'll be committing to University of Alabama. Here with Landon Collins, the number one safety nationally in the ESPNU 150. Who are our two combatants in the national championship game? And are those your two? We know LSU and Alabama. Those are your two, right? Yes, sir. I can tell you this. Through the world of social networking, your announcement is so highly anticipated, it's unbelievable. First off, how difficult was the decision? Very difficult. Both teams are just top-notch to me and um, I feel at home at both schools. Now, you are literally from Geismar, Louisiana. Let's see if that plays into things here. LSU. I'm from New Orleans. You're from New Orleans. Okay, we'll give you New Orleans. But that's still LSU country. I know that. LSU or Alabama, the number one safety in the country, Landon Collins, will play his ball where? It's a tough decision. Uh, I got both schools here. But I'm going to go roll, tie, roll. Ooh. Alabama gets the number one Safety in the country, Landon Collins. What was it about Alabama? Um, it's just a bigger decision for me, and I felt home more. And um, I just love the coaches and the coaching staff and the players that I'm going to be playing with. Now, it, it, might I ask you your reaction? And I'm only doing that because I, I, there was not a lot of joy here. Can I ask why? I feel this LSU is a better place for him to be. LSU Tigers, number one. Go Tigers. You're making some friends. You're making some friends here at the Trop. No question about it. Alabama, it is. What do you think the hometown, uh, the LSU fans are going to think? Um, we know what one thinks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's just, I guess it's still support me, I guess. Landon Collins out of New Orleans. Rolling Tide to Alabama. Guys, I don't need to tell you. This is a big sports sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealer. Well, it was National Signing Day, and Broken Arrow's Gavin Potter made his decision in a way I've just never seen before. Takes off the Kansas State sweatshirt here. Then there's a Texas Tech t-shirt that's coming off as well. The reveal, KU painted on his chest. Tigers linebacker now a Jayhawk. OU and OSU made the worst decision that they've ever made, let me leave Oklahoma. So uh, I'm look, gonna look forward to playing them. And that's, 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 that's what I love to do. I love to uh, prove people wrong. I'm taking my time, so. For the next three, four years. Everyone in this Pensacola gym is applauding four-star recruit Jacob Copeland as he commits to Florida. Just about everyone but his own mother. Wearing an Alabama sweater and a Tennessee hat, she storms out on national television. Uh, who just got up and left there? And, and to your right, who got up and left? Oh, that was my mom. Copeland barely holds it together for his interview. Most recruits are smiling ear to ear in this enormous moment with a big celebration behind them. 
However, Copeland looks distraught, being asked not about football, but instead his mother. Jacob, we saw her wearing the Alabama sweater there. What were those conversations like with her? Just, just, uh, we had a lot of conversations uh, back and forth. As the national TV cameras turn off, Copeland finally breaks down. He can barely address the gym of supporters all there for his big day. And thank you who supported me through the process. Thank you, everybody, who all supported me through the process. But And then his mom finally re-emerges. On Facebook, most are saying this gesture was too little too late, that Jacob deserved more than a mother walking out on him at perhaps the biggest moment of his life.